What is going on everyone? Welcome to another video from Featured Tech. In this video, I'm going to be unboxing the Phone Soap 3 sanitizer, which is pretty much a sanitizer that uses UV light to sanitize your phone. Now this is a universal device. It's not specific to any specific one. So in this video, I'm going to be unboxing it as well as reviewing it. Let's get started. So starting with the unboxing, we're gonna open it up down here, a little flap, and then take a look at that. So upon checking out different uh, you know, videos about this phone soap, I saw different types of packaging. I see people that are getting like a sticker seal from the outside, but this is just a, just a bare box. And right here you have the power cable that just powers on your UV light sanitizer. And right here you have like a bubble type package, uh, like envelope that has the UV light sanitizer inside of it. And they sealed it for some reason, I guess they're not sure why they sealed it if it's inside the box, but open that up and there you go check that out very straightforward packaging uh, as far as the sanitizer itself you open that up it's telling you let's get started you remove this guy right here And this is pretty much just the instruction manual walking you through how to use the device and for how long to keep the your device in there. I'm going to go over that later in the video. Okay, so now that I connected it using the power adapter that it came with, let me give you a walk around of the Phone Soap 3. So to start right here, you have a little opening where you can run your chargers through that. Next, you have your USB and USB-C uh, you know, inputs. So you can actually charge your phone while it is being sanitized. And that is actually a very good idea in case, you can also leave it overnight, by the way. So if you are sleeping, you don't have to worry about over sanitizing the phone or anything like that. You can actually just plug in your phone run the wire out and just let the phone charge overnight if you want. So you don't have to worry about, you know, overheating the machine or anything like that. So a little bit more information about the Phone Soap 3. Now this company, I actually followed it from when they appeared on Shark Tank. I actually do love that show a lot. And they did appear on there seeking an investment. I believe they made a deal with Lori uh, Grenier. As far as the phone soap itself, here's some information about it. So this phone soap uses UVC uh, bulbs, which is one of the more uh, powerful UV lights that you can use. It also includes a one year limited warranty for your, you know, for anything that can happen with your phone soap as far as mechanical. And the question that you are probably asking is, can this thing kill the coronavirus? Now, this coronavirus has been rampant along, you know, all over the world. So to answer your question, and it was a question that I had, is technically no. So Phone Soap went ahead and, you know, addressed this question on their website, where I'm guessing a lot of people asked them this question, especially with everything going on. And they asked them if their Phone Soap even the best one they're selling can kill the coronavirus. And as of right now, they don't have sufficient testing to prove that it does. So therefore, my answer to anybody that has this question as of today's you know, filming is no, it does not kill the coronavirus, uh, but it does kill 99.9% .9 of germs and bacteria. You do have this opening to plug in your charger while the phone is being sanitized. So that's exactly what I'm gonna do. So right here, I have my charger plugged in, 
via USB from the back. And what I'm gonna do is just simply plug it in, charge my phone, and we're gonna open it up. It's very smart too, by the way. So right here, it left a decent opening in case you have a bigger charger. You don't have to worry about it being, you know, not, not fitting in through the openings that they have set up for you. So as you can see, my phone is charging right up here and the cable is down here and we're just gonna simply close it and that's it. So now my phone is charging while it's being sanitized, which is super convenient. One thing I'm kind of confused about is when I took a look at some of what other people got when they unboxed their phone soap, I didn't get, you know, one thing that they got, which is the microfiber pad. So in other unboxings that you might have watched or might watch after this is that they actually include a microfiber pad, which I didn't get with this one. Now I purchased the phone soap three from Verizon. So I'm not sure what happened. Maybe the packaging was revised. Uh, maybe, you know, what they included, they changed it. Um, I'm not sure what happened along the way, but I know that as of my purchase, you know, this week, cause I only purchased it a few days ago. Uh, I purchased it on November 30th, I believe. Uh, so of 2020. So as of that day, the package that I received did not include the microfiber pad. And the microfiber pad was for you to wipe any fingerprints off your phone after it's been sanitized. So I'm a bit disappointed I didn't get that, especially that I paid the same price that probably somebody else did pay for their, you know, phone soap three. Even though I might have not used it, you know, might as well just include it. So here are a couple of things I did not like about the phone soap 3. First is the opening flap. I think they really need to improve this because if you don't open it all the way and you just push back so you can keep it still. So let's just say you open it like this. That happens and it continuously does that unless you push it all the way back almost until you break the piece of plastic that is keeping the flap open. So I really wish they can go back and just fix this because it really is kind of disappointing when you're spending $80 on a phone sanitizer and they didn't do a good job with the flap. So this was my unboxing and review video on the Phone Soap 3. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you do have suggestions or any questions or just comments, leave them down below. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Have a great day.